Gaming-related injuries aren't the myth. It's a reality that doesn't only apply to professionals, but also to the billions of casual gamers in the world. A substantial amount of them feel pain, discomfort, and get injured after long gaming sessions. Ergonomic keyboards are meant to help prevent those injuries, as well as enhance the performance of each user. But if this is the case, why aren't ergonomic gaming keyboards used in the professional environment? Or why aren't they easily available to the general public? Hi Digmates, I'm Dominique, and in this video, we'll be exploring the different factors that make a keyboard ergonomic, how they benefit gamers' health and performance, and why not many gaming companies promote ergonomic gaming keyboards at all. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload new videos. First, what does ergonomic mean? I'm sure that in this day and age, you've come across the term ergonomic. Many companies throw this word to brand their products, but are they really ergonomic? If you Google search what ergonomics means, the definition you'll get is this, the study of people's efficiency in their working environment. If you wanna be more specific and let's say search ergonomics in the workplace, you'll get this description. An ergonomist designs or modifies the work to fit the worker, not the other way around. The goal is to eliminate discomfort and risk of injury due to work. In our case, the term work to fit the worker involves the tool we use to game, which is the keyboard. So what makes a keyboard actually ergonomic? Well, a keyboard has to fit the needs of its owner so they can use it efficiently and comfortably without the risk of injury. So here's a list of features that an ergonomic gaming keyboard should have. A split design. Each half should adapt to your shoulder's width. This allows you to open up your chest more and not slouch. This also helps prevent injuries caused by ulnar deviation. Being detachable. If you are playing FPS, you can detach one of the halves and gain extra space for your mouse. This is also beneficial for left-handed gamers. And this also prevents you from tilting the keyboard, which is generally not good for your wrists. Fully programmable. You can remap keys that you use the most, so you don't need to awkwardly stretch your fingers to reach those keys. You can create macros for shortcuts and combos. This might not be allowed in the professional scene, but as a casual gamer, why not? The extra thumb keys. The thumb is our strongest finger, yet we use both of them to push one gigantic key. With the extra thumb keys, you can use your thumbs to your advantage. You can remap your most used keys there or those that you barely reach with the pinkies. Palm support. The palm support helps prevent wrist extension as the bottom of your palms can rest comfortably while gaming. And finally, ortholinear. Although this is considered the next level of ergonomics, since the learning curve of ortholinear keyboards might be steep for newcomers. So are ergonomic keyboards really good for gaming? Well, the answer here is pretty obvious. They definitely are. But why? Well, because you're able to game more comfortably. You reduce the risk of injuries, and most importantly, because you can boost your gaming performance, you can remap your keys to be in the optimal position and have shortcuts to fit each game and your playstyle while being comfortable and not needing to rearrange your desk so you can fit your entire keyboard and your mouse and whatnot. But then now we get to our million dollar question. Why don't big gaming companies such as Razer or, or Corsair make ergonomic gaming keyboards? Let's face it, these big companies have the same objective, volume. Actual gaming keyboards are cheap to manufacture because they're produced in great volume. And in any industry, if you mass produce something, the cheaper it will cost. It would probably be more expensive for these big gaming companies to make an ergonomic keyboard because, well, first, there's lots of R&D needed to develop the design and the configurator software. So probably this isn't a priority for them. And second, there might not even be enough demand for it, so they might lose money. Although I doubt that any of these big gaming companies will go bankrupt if they developed an ergonomic gaming keyboard that didn't get enough sales. For me, it just sounds like they don't want to make ergonomic gaming keyboards because they're already making a lot of money with their flashy but substandard peripherals. So why bother making keyboards that are actually better for their users? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, this leads me to my second point. 
the lack of demand. In the same way companies want to earn a lot of money, customers want to spend as little as possible. Not everyone is willing to spend $300 or more on a keyboard if they can get one for $20. But those who opt for the $20 keyboard aren't also aware of the benefits of ergonomic keyboards. Maybe they don't believe in ergonomic keyboards or they think they don't need them or they don't dig the aesthetics. Or maybe they don't know that there are ergonomic keyboards out there that are not only better for your performance and health, but are also cool and trendy. That's another mistake conception of ergonomic keyboards. There's a stereotype that ergonomic keyboards look old school and are big, clunky, and ugly. Sure, they were 20 years ago, but not anymore. The Digmarais keyboard, for example, checks all the boxes. It's a split keyboard that can be attached and detached. It has palm support. It's fully programmable, so you can remap any key and create personalized layers and macros. It even has this new feature called the super keys, where you can configure five Five different functions in a single key. Whether you tap it, you hold it, you tap and hold it, you double tap it, and double tap and hold it. It has eight sophisticated thumb keys, fully customizable RGB, so you can personalize the color of each key to serve as a visual guide. This is really helpful when using a custom layer for a specific game. It offers a tenting kit as an add-on for ultimate ergonomics. It also has a staggered key layout to accommodate most gamers. Not to mention, it has hot swappable switches. Talk about complete customization! This keyboard is a great example where ergonomic functionality and aesthetic design are a perfect 10 out of 10. Have you ever tried an ergonomic keyboard for gaming? Do you think they're worth it? Why do you think gaming companies haven't explored creating ergonomic keyboards such as the Digma Race? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this video or would like us to talk more about this topic, give us a thumbs up. Till the next one, hasta luego!